So for the past five years, I've been trying to use an iPad only as my travel laptop. And it's been going pretty well, but I think I finally hit the wall and I'm gonna be switching to the M1 Max MacBook Pro. You all already know that I've been using an iPad only while I travel. And I've been using it for things like emails, editing and Lightroom and so much more. And it's worked out for me. My main setup has been a desktop computer. I had a Hackintosh. Let me know if you're interested in hearing more about that. And then I would use my iPad whenever I went away and needed to edit while I was away from my main rig. I had a whole bunch of videos about that. Here's one you can check out up above, but I finally hit the wall where I need to switch to something better. So I wanna share with you all the three main reasons why I'm gonna be switching over to the M1 Max MacBook Pro. Also, big shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I'll be talking about that later in the video as well. So the number one reason that finally got me to switch off of an iPad is needing video editing. Now, you can edit on an iPad Pro. It's very possible. If you don't know about LumaFusion, it is an absolutely amazing program and you're able to do full blown editing on there. Now, however, for me, since I always edit these long three hour full wedding days, I needed something more. I also wanted to be able to take my work with me because a lot of the times if I was in the middle of working on something like a full wedding day video, what happens is when I leave, I can't take it with me. While I could start videos in LumaFusion and then bring it back to my home rig, I was never able to take something from my home rig and send it over to LumaFusion. And that was a huge problem. If you're not familiar, even as a wedding photographer, I've now started focusing on YouTube and the YouTube work is a big part of my income at this point. So I need to be able to do that work no matter where I am. So being able to do that is where the M1 Max MacBook Pro came in. With this, now I can take my full Final Cut rig with me and it works amazingly well. The M1 Max is impressive when it comes to video and I can edit all my stuff wherever I go. At worst, all I need is an external hard drive and yeah, I'm good to go. So being able to video edit was the main push for me to actually get a laptop finally. Next up is the small annoying things, which is just gonna be the normal apps that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, most of all the apps I use are either web apps or there's an app for it on the iPad, so I had everything I needed. I use Spark for my email, HoneyBook for getting contact with my couples, which is a web-based app. There was everything I needed on my iPad. However, not everything worked 100% the way it should have while it was on the iPad. And having my apps work 90%, was good most of the time, but I cannot tell you that that 10% was so annoying. There would always be something weird about working on the iPad that just didn't give me fully what I wanted. The biggest example of that are most of the web apps that I use. While they do work, and while now the iPad does technically kind of have like a mouse and a point and click, for whatever reason, the point and click doesn't work totally exactly correct the same way it would on a laptop. So because of that, it's thinking that you're touching the screen, but sometimes you're not touching the screen and things just act super wonky and I just wasn't a fan of it. So again, I could get done what I needed to, but a lot of times when I traveled, I ended up just not doing much work because that 10% held me back from doing what I needed to do. Obviously with the new MacBook Pro, I'm getting a full blown computer running full blown Mac OS. So because of this, I can do whatever I need to. And again, with my setup at home with the BenQ monitor that I'm using, it runs out USB-C and Thunderbolt. So I can just connect that to my MacBook Pro and use it on the big screen as well. And honestly, that's the best part about switching to the MacBook Pro is the fact that now I can work on it at home as my main machine, unplug it and then just take it with me. So the apps not working full 100% was the second thing that made me switch over to the M1 Max MacBook Pro. Speaking of apps that would work on my iPad and also a laptop, that's a great place to talk about this video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform that will allow you to build your online portfolio and website and share it with the world. As a wedding photographer, that is extremely important. And if you're doing any style of photography and you don't have a website, you definitely need to go ahead and get one today. Their pre-built templates make it super easy for you to set up your website without having to put too much work in it and it looks beautiful. So someone like me, who's not a designer, already has half the work done. On top of that, they have easy to use blocks, analytics, and also commerce. So there's pretty much anything you need to do on your website. 
Make sure to check out the link below in the description for 10% off of your first website or domain. So the last thing that finally made me move over to a MacBook Pro is the power of the machine. Now, I've been using the 12.9 iPad Pro for a while, which is rocking the same M1 processor as the MacBook Pro. However, for whatever reason, iOS is not using its full potential. So because of this, not only are the apps not pulling the full 100% of what could be done, the processor also is only doing but so much. Now, the M1 Max is extremely impressive, and everything I've used it on is pretty much blown right through it. So because of this, I pretty much don't pick up my iPad at all anymore, and I'm only using it for reading books and watching movies, pretty much media consumption. Also, compared to the iPad Pro, the MacBook Pro is also rocking the same XDR display, so pretty much I'm getting all the greatness of the iPad Pro, but also full Mac OS. And I mean, the power, it just rips through Final Cut. Everything I do, Lightroom works pretty well. I'll talk about that in another video if you wanna hear about it. Y'all already know, a, Adobe products are just not known for being amazing, but that's that's something else to talk about. <laughs> but yeah, the power was just, it was too much. I, I need it, I needed the power, I needed to be able to edit on the go, I needed to be able to use everything I use at home because I travel a lot for weddings. So those are the main reasons I switched off of using my iPad Pro as my main computer. Now, I do love my iPad Pro and it was sad to let it go, but honestly, at this point in my life with all the traveling for weddings and also needing to make videos for YouTube, having a laptop just, I had to do it like there was no other option. Let me know if you're team iPad or team MacBook Pro in the comments below. Thank you again for hanging out on the channel and don't forget to subscribe for more tech and wedding photography. Hit that like if you enjoyed this and also let me know if you got an M1 MacBook Pro for yourself and I will check you out next time. All right.